Hello! So, um, what do we got? Uh, today I'm going to show you uh, round two of testing for large enemies uh, uh, numbers and the results. Um, first off, to get to the point real quick, um, is this. Um, uh, so I definitely noticed that um, I needed to turn off collision on the, the guys running around. With their collision turned on, um, the frame rate is... Uh, uh, Let's see, uh, capsule collision, so full body collision with frame rates down at like 7 and 10. Um, whereas when you only use a capsule collision, your frame rate goes up to 28 and then 41, which is quite a bit better. And then without any skeletons or any of that, it goes up to 38 and 78. So, um, yeah, I'll show you kind of how that works real quick. So. Again, same guys as yesterday, it's just one set of them has their collision completely disabled except for their capsules. So I'll go ahead and show you if we hit play. And I summon in, I'll go one, two, three, four. Oh, let me turn on stat frames, oh, I'm sorry. Stat unit graph and stat, uh, yeah, there we go, that's good. Oh, and there, all right, so right now we're at 390, 489, 589, there you go, around about 700 of them. These guys have full collisions on all their arms and legs, um, not just their capsules, and um, they're using regular pathing methods. So we're down at like 11 frames a second when we have 700 of them. Um, and the game takes 90 frames, or 90 milliseconds to compute. Um, so that's, that's pretty bad. Um, now, if I do it with physics objects that are of the same, um, and we go one, two, three, four, five, let's see, 420, ah, 505, 596, there. Almost 700 of these little guys. Now, their little arms and legs, not only are they running, they're running around via physics balls. That's just getting impulses, pushing them around. Um, we're going to get to the crash range pretty soon here, so I have to jump out, but... We're at about 700 of them, and notice that our frame rate's down at like 6. Um, but also all their little arms and legs and everything are all colliding, and they're also their movement is based on a, just a physics sphere, though. So this is pretty rough. Um, now, however, if I go ahead and use regular pathing guys with no collision besides their capsule, when I get up to about 700, there. That's about 700 of them pathing regular towards me. Um, now, you see our frame rate is still not so bad. Um, you know, it's not great. There's 700 of them. So we're still getting down there. But we drop down to about mm, 25 frames a second and about 35 milliseconds to figure out each uh, cycle of the game. So that's with... Um, Let's see, uh, regular pathing and only collision on their capsule. So now, if I switch over to little physics guys, um, we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, and are we there? At about 700 of them. And here they all come. And they're all you know, kind of getting in a fight with each other. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. There we go. Um, there's some stuck behind the scenes over here, too, but we're sitting at 40 frames a second, which is even better than the one before. Um, and the game's only taking about 25 milliseconds to figure out. Um, so, so, yeah, know that these guys are using a little physics ball to take care of how they move around. They're not using pathing. They're just using an actual little sphere that slides across the ground. Um, and because that takes care of them actually moving around and their animation is driven by a blueprint that's run off of the velocity of their physics ball movement. Um, now again, of course, physics balls, you know, they can get stuck behind places. If you're strong enough to push your way out, you can have some fun. Well, I'll show you that at the end. Um, anyways, so that's even a little bit better. Um, now we get into the pathing just balls with no animation, so we get up to about 700. There we go. And we're sitting up at about, what, 40, 40 frames a second? It'll probably dip down to about, what is my end results? 38 by the end of this. But they all will find their way in. You know, they'll just get into a nice orderly fashion and slowly work their way in because they're using pathing mechanics. Um, 
and then yeah there it goes down to 35 um and then lastly there's the uh just physics balls and there's 300 500 uh 600 and about 700 and these guys all kind of you know fly in and do what little physics objects would do and this is barely hitting anything even though there's 700 of them on there we're still sitting at like 72 ish frames a second and the game's only taking about 13 milliseconds to to do its thing um so yeah um those are the results from that um as far as testing goes so you can see uh, if we're going for sheer numbers what, what we're going to try in the game uh killer bunnies from mars we're going to try using um uh was it physics spheres rolling around or sliding around to move the enemies and use their velocity um to drive a animation blueprint um so similar to the the third ones that, or the fourth ones that i showed um where it's got um physics navigation full animation and capsule collision only um now in the game itself here's another note to take when trying to get lots of enemies on the screen these little guys um i tried and if anybody has a better solution out there please let me know um because i could totally use the help uh we have let's see these guys right and if i say selected and simulate their ears so when they run and jump their ears flippity flop around however um the results of that are this the frames per second when i enable those ears drops way down like just massive hit um where's the actual numbers yeah we're going from being at like 75 frames a second to 20. so and that's just those ears um even though they have no collision you know the collision is uh here let me just undo that the collision is uh disabled on their uh on their ears all they are is just this little constraint but having those ears ragdolling around just is a massive tax on the system um and you can see that here in this little graph <laughs> um so try to stay away from ragdoll bodies uh if you're doing a massive number of enemies um and then also ba -ba -ba -da -ba -da, yeah, it was I tried doing this, these little spring controllers. Um, and they kind of work. They only seem to work off of local motion. And they, 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 uh, what is it? L yeah, so their movement out in the real world doesn't affect how these spring controls work. So while it will react to their animation of their bones and flippity flop back and forth, if they're punched through the air at like 100 miles an hour, their ears aren't going to do this because they're not reacting to the world outside of their um, of their little uh, of their little animation. So and and also if, when I disable translation and say I just wanted to get ran rotation for them to flip and flop back and forth, um, they just go static. Um, so that, I don't know if I'm doing something wrong here. Um, there might be a setting somewhere to make them able to rotate. Um, I may later on build a two bone system to where, uh, the, the springs rotate around, but the actual bones that control the ears stay pointed using an aim constraint to stay pointed at those. Um, or if someone comes up with something better, if someone knows anything out there for making flippity floppity ears, that's super lightweight on the system because these are super lightweight. They barely put a dent. It was like, it was like one and a half less frames per second. When you're sitting at 90, you're like, eh, that's not much. Um, but when I use these, when I use these, these physics guys, um, we were dropping from going from like 72 frames a second going down to 20 frames a second So it was just this massive tax on the system So um, if anybody has any solutions out there for that, it would be very very appreciated um, and uh, Yeah, uh, hopefully the results from the from the the earlier stuff wherever it ran off to oh, there it is uh, hopefully this helps some people if you're doing vast quantities um, disable collision everywhere you can um it, it it kills your system um so yeah 
hopefully that helps and um yeah i will see you all on the next video and thank you so much for following it's it's greatly greatly appreciated um and uh yeah we're now killer bunnies from mars entirely no longer hammer on in order to help you know promote the game for release day oh. <laughs> and uh yeah so anyways hope all is well out there for everybody and i'll catch you on the next one all right Bye.